So I'm sorry, I was not able to record uh, videos for you for the last three, four days because I had a very bad throat. I was rest uh, resting at home, but I was following up on the news regarding NEET. Nothing came. The date is still not out. First week is gone. Now we are in second week of March. I don't know what NTA and uh, education minister are doing. But one thing which has come out is physics board exam is not going to happen. Physics board exam is not going to happen on 13th May. It is going to happen on 8th June. You must have seen that. What that means is if NTA doesn't want to be unfair to students who are writing their 12th exam and are also going to write the NEET exam, they will not conduct NEET exam before June and even mid-July is mid-July for me looks more feasible. So you have a lot of time remaining. You have a lot of time remaining. Now a lot of you will waste this precious time. This is precious. Worth its weight in gold. A lot of you are going to waste your time, the extra time that you're getting, but a lot of you are going to make use of this time. A lot of you are also not going to waste the time. Whoever is not wasting their time, they will get MBBS seat in Government Pentacle College. There is a lot of time remaining in NEET 2021. There is a lot of time remaining in NEET 2021. I saw a lot of students last year who made the most of the extra time that became available after COVID. A lot of people wasted their time in uh, Twitter campaigns. A lot of students shut their mouth, studied daily and made significant improvement. We had 1100 plus selections in government medical colleges last year. And a lot of these students had significant jump in their performance because they did not waste their time, which became available because of COVID situation. So please be cautious if you are wasting your time. In cricket matches, in Tamasha on YouTube, you will suffer. And the cost of that is you will be preparing for one more year from the same NCRT book, same questions, same test, everything the same. So please don't do it. Please make the maximum utilization of this time, right? And third thing is you have mock test on 14th March. You have mock test on 14th March. Full 11 syllabus, which means 50 chapters. You have to prepare properly. This is your first real test. Because this test will test the fact that can you remember a lot of chapters and write a full syllabus kind of test. So it is very, very important that you do well in this exam. I'm going to remind again the five step preparation process. This is your mock test. Let's say you are writing on Sunday, 14th March. Before this mock test, you will complete your syllabus and you will do your revision, right? Now, this is, since it is class 11, 50 chapters, which means at least 35 to 40 hours of revision. At least 35 to 40 hours of revision. And after mock test, you are going to do your postmortem, understand what went wrong. And then you're going to fix your weak areas. You have your DPP generator. And you have your short duration revision course. But you have to follow these steps. No one else can follow it uh, up for you. If you're not writing full 11th mock test, that is okay. If you're writing a part test, that is fine. That means it doesn't require 35 to 40 hours of revision. You can do it in 15 to 20 hours. But please understand, don't waste your time. Just fix up your mock test dates. Make sure you complete the syllabus before that. Do revision. After that, these two uh, steps. I will keep repeating the same thing again and again because ultimately this is what the preparation is about at this point of time. When the time available, you have so much time available. I'm telling you, at least 110 days. <laughs> Imagine, 110 days. 110 days means so much studies, right? So please make sure that you are giving time properly and you are going to do well in your mock test on 14th March. I wanted to tell you this. Best of luck to all of you. Please make sure that you are not wasting your time. Whoever is wasting uh, his or her time, I am telling you, cautioning you, one more year of preparation awaits you. And it's going to be very, very painful. It would require a lot of motivation to stand up again and prepare again. Please don't do it. Please don't waste your time. You still have a lot of time remaining. Even if you complete your syllabus by May end, even middle June, 
that is okay don't worry about it just keep working hard don't give up and please remain focused don't get distracted if you still have any questions from me i will uh, try and come to you every day i was not able to because i was not well but if you have any questions ask me in the comment section i will answer but please guys no wasting of time and please remain focused all right students